If elected, what would you do to help specialists tackle their wait lists and ensure patients have more timely access to consultation and procedural care? Access to specialists is so important for British Columbia. It doesn't matter if you're facing a cancer diagnosis or uh, you need a, a knee replacement or a knee surgery or a hip surgery um, or uh, some other uh, complex health issue that only a specialist can assist with. We wanna also assist the specialists to make sure that that process for British Columbians accessing your services is as quick and as painless as possible. So that's things like making sure that our referral system works properly. So you're not spending your time dealing with administration around referrals, you're actually spending your time with patients who need your care. Uh, making sure that referrals are, are good for a longer period of time so that pe people don't have to go back uh, to a primary uh, practitioner for a re-referral to access your services. That's a waste of everybody's time. And also making sure that our hospitals are built. We're building or uh, expanding 30 hospitals across the province. So as a specialist, you have access to the operating space, to the equipment you need uh, to deliver the care that you know that people need. Uh, you won't be working in, uh, in an old uh, hospital built by our grandparents uh, that has uh, serious issues around patient safety and quality of care. Uh, you'll be working in a modern facility uh, that ensures that you can provide the kind of care that you want to give. This is stuff that should have happened a long time ago. John Rustad uh, had the chance to do it. Uh, we're building the hospitals across the province. We're the ones making sure uh, that we're supporting the doctors in our province with high quality places to deliver care. There's no question this is a huge issue um, in BC. Too many people are dying on a wait list for diagnostic services and surgeries. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we get the red tape out of the, out of the system. We need to dramatically reduce the administration and administration costs and process in there to allow doctors and specialists to be focused on their patients as opposed to on paperwork. This will also help to free up on quite a wide range of healthcare professionals to be able to help. But most importantly, we want to be able to unleash healthcare professionals and specialists' ability to be able to deliver services. It doesn't have to all be done through the government system. This is why we want a system that can be delivered by both government and non-government services so that there is that innovation that can happen and uh, specialists are much better uh, in a position to be able to service patients that are needed. I think the, the most important starting place is to hear from specialists what are the impediments to addressing their long wait lists? What are the problems that they're facing? Is it too much red tape? Is it a lack of the systems being able to talk to each other across health authorities? Is it the lack of a centralized waiting list so that people are getting to the specialists in the most effective way? But the people who are the experts are the specialists themselves. And so what we would do if elected as government, or even, which is a high possibility, if we're in a balance of power situation, we're gonna ensure that decisions made about the healthcare system are really informed by the experts in the healthcare system.